the second episode we're going to do, we're going to talk about deck building 102. Uh, it's going to be the Elric deck. Like, what do we want to make our Elric deck? Now, I always build the Elric deck, not set in stone, but pretty much close to it, 75% close to set in stone, based on um, what I want to do, because knowing what's in your Elric deck, aka your second hand, will inform what you're going to want to be playing in your main deck, because you're always going to see these cards, and you need the main deck to support those cards innately. So we already decided we want to be in a um, white-black value shell, right? A white-black recursion value shell. So the first thing we're going to do without any hesitation is just start slopping in um, Super Celestia Saber um, as the, uh, the piece of choice. Now, this is going to give us access to um, a two-enter. We're going to be able to bring back a white, a black, and a colorless Signy, a.k.a. a guard, to our hand. Um, this is going to work really well in tandem with Maho Maho's ability to, and if you guys haven't seen how we got to this point here, check out Deck Building 101. Um, it's going to help with Maho Maho's uh, ability to bring back target uh, Signy from our trash to our hand. And we're going to really, really start like doing stuff like Exia um, and Phalaris. Um, right, these are these are the cards. I'm just going to put them in here just so that way I know I, I have them in case I need to reference them. These are the cards that I'm like, off the top of my head, I'm like, I absolutely want to bring back with Maho Maho. I mean, aside from guards too, right? Um, which would be Servant Sharp. Um, so, I know that we'll probably want those. Um... And I usually do one Flaris or two Flarises to, to cover it. Um, so that way, even with the mill and recursion, we'll always be able to grab that. Um, now then, so the second part is I need to bring white into the deck, right? Because I'm, I'm looking to bring white into the deck. We can figure out the second piece a little bit later. The first piece is really our primary piece, and we know this is going to give us a little bit more deck direction that we're looking for. Like, we could go with Xeno Cluster... Um, if we wanted to, I spelled that wrong, Xeno Cluster. If we wanted to ensure that we were going to be able to always like hit our enter costs of things, or we just wanted a little bit more outs against discard. Um, but it's not super necessary when we're also playing Super Helestia Saber. So we don't always need to go with that direction because Super Helestia Saber will also give us back a lot of cards if we get discarded as well. Um, not to mention Maho Maho will give back cards as well, so it, it gets us, it, it's not super, 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 super necessary. Um, but another one that we could do is a Machina Guardian Dragon. Um, now what Machina Guardian Dragon ends up doing is it allows us to um, basically target an Elrig on the opponent's field, um, and then have a flexible discard or spend an enter. If we do that, we can negate their attack anytime they attack this turn. With Tama becoming more powerful, this is something that I'm leaning into a little bit. Um, and then there is always um, uh, Singularity Garden. Garden of Singularity. Um, and what that allows us to do, basically, is we can always discard cards from our hand. And that'll let us be able to freely guard whenever we just discard cards from our hand. Now, with the fact that we're getting back Maho Maho, uh, we probably getting back guards with Maho Maho. I don't know if we really need Garden of Singularity as as the the choice option. Of course, there's always other options too. Like for example, if we end up using blue, right? We can uh, play Azur, um, Black Gaia. Uh, which will let us get some discard, uh, which is kind of nice to, to do in this type of deck. Um, so that way we can always ensure that Maho Maho is milling the opponent. Um, but I really don't care if they're if it, if I'm milling them. I really care if that they're not getting enter. And something like that, you can then think maybe we want to play, I don't know, um... Brave, I can't remember what that one card is called, Bravery, or something like that. It's the one that allows um, you to, to uh, they the opponent will need to discard a card or pay an enter to guard for that turn. 
another option would be um, we could play uh, Burning Curiosity. Um, and that would let us basically exceed four and always exceed in order to make it so that way we can um, have an open lane plus we're ener denying them. But I think white probably offers us enough ener tax and we'll be going slow enough with the ener starving that we don't super need to warp our deck around that type of thing. Let's leave off the, um, the piece choice for a little bit longer and we'll go instead into what, how, how are we bringing white? So right now, off the top of my head for the best white Elrigs that we could be playing, we could be playing Akino. Um, and what Akino would allow us to do is it gives us some pretty good value on Akino Bye Bye. It enter restricts the opponent by tossing a card in their hand. Now we're just giving them fuel, kind of to to play out their um, to play out their hand, uh, which is going to uh, allow them to discard with Maho Maho's main effect. And that's not something I'm super liking. But the ability to mill and then also bring a guard back to our track to our hand, especially when the opponent um, mills themselves instead of allowing us to get that guard, could be useful. Um, another one that could be useful is just Lion, right? Lion's a very consistent Elrig. Um, so if we look at Lion here, MC Lion, um, we end up with my dog's gonna bark for a little while now. Because the person's at the door, um, so we can we do dig, which will get us really good, uh, give us a really great ability to filter through our hand, um, and then disrespect, which is a three stop and allows us to go longer in the late game, and that could be very 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 useful and something I'm leaned towards. Um, but then there's also another choice here we could use. Um, God, I, I'm trying to remember how to spell this one. Uh, we can use... Well, we can use Ange, right? That's another option that we can do. Um, and Ange has got an interesting one. Aside from this one being pretty good, which is uh, balance of level 2 or less, there's actually this one also where you spend an enter and you can trash it, and that kind of wastes their resources. I've not been super impressed with the level 1s where you have to pay an enter. So it's it's okay, but it's really it's really average. And even though we've got White Heaven right here that we could use, where it basically enter denies them and allows us to do some real good aggression, the actual one that I want to pop up is um, is this one. So this one's actually pretty good too. It costs two enter, which is a downgrade, um, but allows you to return target signature to the opponent's hand. Um, but you can also pay a black and return black signature to your hand. Now we could also basically do this with uh, Machina, but I think that um, if we do this with, with Machina, one, you end up vanishing something, so you give them Enter. Um, but and two, we don't have a Blackout Rig, so it's not, it's not as easy to use. Um, there is an option where we could go with, uh, we could go with Ange, and we could go with uh, Lion, and if we do that, we can then run as one of our pieces White Heaven. And, and I actually, I like that as an option here, right? White Heaven would be able to enter deny our opponent um, while also being a very, very good lane opener for us. Um, and it puts a little bit of that, that pressure in the main deck. So that's an option I'm leaning towards. But the other thing that we could do is if we're bringing in black, right? Or sorry, blue as our L-Rig option. There's really only two options that we can go with. Um, yes, there's a new option with the Maho Maho. Um, sorry, Miko Miko, which basically allows us to have a main deck, um, a main deck, uh, an L-Rig deck, assist L-Rig uh, Xenocluster, but I'm not so pressured in this value shell by discard that I absolutely need it. Um, I might be pressured by Ener Burn, but I think I'm willing to take that risk just because the meta is less Ener Burn-y than it used to be. X, for example, isn't on Ener Burn so much as on a recursion package now that um, we could run either Tomago. Um, and Tomago is basically going to give us a ton of cards in our hand, right? We can use um, Double Roll, which will 
draws cards, but really a great one is a Jet Stick at the end, which just basically is a little bit of defense. It gives us a ton of cards in hand to work with. But it's also um, the, this one, the level one, Tomago Beating, which allows us to put something on the bottom of their deck. Now, that would distinctly put us in a more mid-range option. And I think that's okay, but then the other option is Madoka, right? Um, and we have an option here where we can be a three-stop with um, Clap. Or we can use something and be a little bit more risky here, and we can use Dub, which will make our opponent discard a card. And I think I'm leaned towards this if we decide to end up going with the blue root in our deck. Um, so our, our options really are as stands. Either, I think we're either going to go with Lion, and the second one is either going to be Ange or, um, Ange or Akino. And our second option is either go with Lion and go with... Instead of going with Clap, we'll go with Ma 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 Madoka Dub. Or we do Lion as a three-stop. Or we can do, I guess, we could do Madoka as a three-stop. And then instead of doing Lion, we could do Ange or... Um, or... Ange or... Um, or Akino. Hmm. I think because I'm trying to... Let's see. This will bring back a guard probably one or two times, right? And we're going to bring back a guard with Super Helestia Saber. So if we say we're bringing back a guard once with uh, our Maho Maho, right? And then we are bringing back a, um, a guard with Super Helestia Saber. That puts us at two guards. If we have enough ways to get ourselves at least three more guards in the game because we're going long, that puts us at five guards. That means we can guard five times, which would put us at turn five. I think this deck is a turn five, turn six deck. So if we could get ourselves just a little bit more guardage, that would be pretty cool. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Akino right now. This would guarantee that we are able to, um, we do Akino bye-bye, Akino rock, um, this would make it so that way we're, we are guaranteed to basically grind pretty long and we have access to white. Now the question is, do we want to go with lion or do we want to go with Madoka? If we add blue, right, for things like, um, things like, uh, um, things like random drain in the main deck, then we'll want to go with Madoka. If we want to go with things like, um, White Heaven, which I'm kind of leaned for right now. Because I, I, I'm... This is just my bias as a deck builder. I like a little bit of proactivity instead of reactivity. Then what I'd want to do is that, and I'd want to go with um, MC Lion as the um, Dig and Disrespect as the L-Rig deck. So so this is where I would lean to as my, my L-Rig deck now. Um, here's the deal. I'm going to go with this and see how far I can get. If I look at episode two in deck building 103 in the main deck, and I, I look at it and I just go, there's not enough white and black cards to support this type of, um, this type of archetype. And I need to dip into blue for random drains and maybe some other forms of discard. Then I'm willing to swap out this lion and disrespect for, um, for Madoka and Madoka Disrespect, or Madoka Disrespect, Madoka Clap, and then swap out this White Heaven for probably Azura Black Gaia, or um, something a little bit more simpler like MGD. Um, that's where my head's at. This is where I'm going to leave it right now, and we'll be back with episode three at a different time.